I'm Andrew, an engineer at Cognition, and I wanted to share a pretty amazing experience I had with Devin. So I maintain this big open source repository, uh, which contains a lot of different algorithms uh, used for competitive programming. A lot of people use it, and a few weeks ago, uh, my friend texted me that you know there was actually a bug in one of the in one of the implementations. Uh, the implementation wasn't quite right when the inputs weren't uh, weren't relatively prime. I kind of glossed over that case when I was implementing it, so I never really thought about it. So I implemented a quick fix, and then I thought that I should test it, but I actually never really got around to writing any test cases. So I thought, if I don't want to do it, uh, I should just ask Devin to do it instead. So I gave Devin the repository, asked, uh, asked Devin to just check it out and start working on it. Uh, so Devin, you know, found the right repository, checked it out, you know, found all files that are in the repository, and then I told Devin what test case I wanted him to write. Uh, I just told Devin, you know, these are the inputs, and then try checking for these conditions for me. So Devin wrote the test without too much trouble. Uh, it was uh, Devin just looked around to understand what exactly uh, what exactly the test should look like and what exactly the interfaces were. And with this, Devin ran the tests. Ran into a quick hiccup, which was a compiler, but Devin is able to solve those very effectively and just added an extra include to fix that. And then uh, was done running this initial test. So then I asked Devin to actually expand the test a little bit. Instead of just testing this one input, I wanted Devin to write test it on all inputs. So just kind of the brute force testing strategy. I use this a lot in my tests, and I just wanted Devin to implement it so that I didn't have to worry about it. So Devin went and rewrote the test function to use four nested for loops. But this time, after Devin ran the tests, Devin actually found a uh, test failure. And now, you know, if the code were correct, there could be compilers in the test, but you know, the tests seemed really pretty reasonable, so there probably shouldn't be a failure. So Devin went and tried to debug the program for me. So Devin here actually wrote, uh, actually added a print statement to debug the outputs uh, and the uh, inputs to the failing test, reran the tests, and actually found which case was wrong. Uh, in this case, these are the inputs. And then the return value was actually negative 9. Uh, and the, the code I'm running actually should never really return negative values. So Devin realized this and actually went looking in the, uh, it went looking in the code that we're trying to test and actually added this line of code that if extra less than 0, extra plus equals, uh, you know, plus equals something. And to, in order to make sure that the return value was actually non-negative. So after fixing this, Devin actually reran the tests, and now uh, now I can be confident that my code is correct, and I have some tests to prove it. Thanks, Devin.